Political debate around the Azimio 1 Kenya rallies has taken a new trajectory. President William Ruto now claims that powerful figures in the country are funding the Azimio anti-government rallies with an aim of crippling Kenya Kwanzaa's tax reforms. The statement by the president now shining the spotlight on former president Uhuru Kenyatta, who has come under fire after a section of senators allied to the United Democratic Alliance party alleged that Kenyatta could be the force behind the Azimio onslaught against the government. NTV's Sydney Chazima explains. A new twist now unfolds in the politics around the Azimio anti-government protests. President William Ruto, while speaking in Mombasa, has claimed that a shadowy figure is sponsoring the protests with an aim of slowing down the tax reforms. The good people who are used to exempting themselves from paying tax, their day is up. Every citizen must pay tax. That's all I am saying. And it doesn't matter even if they sponsor demonstrations so that they don't pay tax, I want to promise them they will pay tax. And speaking in Nairobi, a section of senators allied to the UDA party claim that the shadowy figure is none other than the former president. We have uh, very credible information that the person who is sponsoring the ongoing mandamanos is President Uhuru Kenyatta, the former president of the Republic of Kenya. Njabu la kushangaza kwamba haishimu hata umri kwa sababu ule mzee hafai kuwa kipigishu wa raundi akiwa na umri kama huo. At the apex of this new emerging conflict is the 2019 merger between NIC and CBA banks that saw the two exempted from paying stamp duty. Through a legal notice authored by former Treasury CS Henry Rotich in 2019, it was directed that the instruments executed in respect of the transactions relating to the merger of NIC and CBA shall be exempt from the provisions of the Stamp Duty Act. In the former regime, tax weavers were a daily business, the most famous being the NCBA NIC merger in which the Kenyatta family got a waiver of 350 million. You saw people waiving, you know, the, the taxes mm. for their businesses, you know. You buy this bank, you sell that bank, you waive taxes, you, you know, it's not going to happen under my administration. President Ruto and his allies have for some time opted not to mention the shadowy figure by name. It is you, we know you, we see you, we understand you. Don't say that fellow from Baragua, talk yourself and we are here to manana na wewe the azimio one kenya alliance has been consistently urging its supporters to disregard the new tax reforms by the kenya kwanza government ushuru zinajizi kupanda panda ndio sababu leo nimesema ati bwana ruto sasa amekuwa yule zakayo yule zakayo ambaye alikuwa anatoza ushuru katika biblia bwana zakayo Equally, they have come to the defense of former President Uhuru Kenyatta. The politics around the new tax reforms come on the backdrop of a recent plan by the KRA to monitor mobile and digital money transactions in a bid to curb tax evasion. Sydney Chazima, NTV.